When we fill up a glass of water, we don't usually think about the harmful chemicals that it might contain. It's frightening to think that without us knowing, waste disposal agencies could be dumping poison right into our tap water. Western Lion and Service Disposal One are both landfill sites located between Mattoon and Charleston, Illinois. These sites have had a long history of environmental violations, but in the late 90s, the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency discovered the owner and operator of the site had excavated a 100 by 200 foot trench through the mound of trash without a permit. This open trench filled with 35 to 40 feet of leachate, which is any liquid material that drains from a landfill that contains high concentrations of harmful chemicals from the garbage. The leachate often overflowed and polluted groundwater and nearby streams, which led to the Attorney General's office forcing a halt to all operations at the site. During the cleaning of the pit, more than 2 million gallons of leachate were hauled to Mattoon's publicly owned wastewater treatment plant. The cost of dewatering the leachate pit amounted to $350,000 in the first year alone, and the final cap was $3.5 million in addition to previous work. That's almost $4 million to clean up a mess that never would have occurred if the proper waste techniques had been used. Riley Creek is a Class A stream that runs through Service Disposal 1 and very close to Western Lion. Class A streams are the second highest rated biological water stream, which simply means that it's safe to swim in, fish in, and most importantly, it means this stream is used for drinking water. That means that all of this harmful and poisonous material was pumped directly from the landfill into the stream, into the water that we drink. 